All right, I'm going to put this uh, out there for you to kind of like get an idea. City noise. Uh, for you to get an idea, the future of the coin you're holding. So, dun -dun 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 -dun. Certainly an ETF getting approved could create a lot of capital flowing into the market. Uh, I, I don't know how to balance those things against other macro factors. I go back to kind of first principles around big picture. What do we need for this industry to thrive? We need regulatory clarity. We need lots of utility. We need to be solving problems at scale, not experiments, not possibilities, but look, I look at the excitement, have you heard some of that on this stage in the past two days around tokenization? I look at, uh, I just think if you zoom out and look at what do the next five or 10 years look like for this industry, I'm extremely optimistic and I think uh, people will be surprised. You know, there's a, there's a Silicon Valley expression that people often overestimate what's gonna happen in five years, but underestimate what happens in 10. There are, you know, kind of macro exponential forces that I think really uh, will continue to catapult this industry. So people don't understand. They're like, no, it has to happen in a month. This is the change, the financial, technology, banking, everything change of once in a lifetime. That's why I tell people all the time. It's either you're in or you're not. Don't write me an email when this shit shoots up past $75 a coin because what am I going to tell you then? You know, it's like people trying to buy Bitcoin now. Think about that one. Something like 12, 13 to 12 Bitcoin ETFs coming out. Like, for real, you want to talk about fabricated market? I think they're going to pump that sucker up and then... <laughs> anyway, that being said, the time to get in to make your money, whatever, that's what I did. Got in early. I'm up. I know all my people are up in XRP, XLM, and... Everybody's up, and they're going to make more. A little bump, come on, SEC does his lawsuit settlement, everybody's going to be gold. Even if it's up a couple of dollars for the first part, a couple of weeks of the year, and then it shoots up with implementation and moving forward. You know what it's going to be like when we have this conversation next year on the holidays? You may be sitting on a couple of hundred grand in your cold wallet. It's more than just the future. It's the reality of what the future is going to be. And the reality is everything's going into the blockchain. There's no way around it. None. You know, fiat cash has become not in this world. So anyway, just wanted to put that out there. What are you going to do when you're sitting on each coin and it's like $85 a coin? And you know it still has a bazillion miles to go. That's when you motherfuckers are gonna become scary. <laughs> Lou, but I want the money so bad, Lou. I'm like, don't, 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 don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. You know, listen, take profits, of course. But if you're one of those people that are gonna wake up one morning crying when it's $850, you know. Our future is locked. That's why I emphasize securing your, your crypto and take some profits to take care of some things. But that's besides the point. You do what you gotta do. That's the future.